Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with a video today about the economic situation in the country. We all know that Spain's going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment with regard to the economy because of this whole pandemic crisis that we are living and how it's going to turn into an economic crisis very soon if it hasn't done so already. So we're going to go and check out a ghost shopping center, a shopping center that is virtually empty and has been empty for the last 10 years. We're going to see how that previous crisis fits in with the crisis that we're going to be living here in this country for the next few years. Now today's video is sponsored by NordVPN and I'll tell you a little bit more about them in just a moment. Now, as I said, we're off today to check out a ghost shopping center. I call it a ghost shopping center because a lot of the shopping center is empty. It's been empty for about 10 years now, ever since the last financial crisis. And of course, now we have a new financial crisis on top of us, which people say is going to be worse than the last one. We've seen how the economy has crashed. And of course, lots and lots of businesses are going to have to close down if they haven't done so already. But we're going to go and check out this particular shopping center. There's two floors. The downstairs part of the shopping center seems to work okay but the upstairs part is virtually empty only a handful of businesses operating some of them are bars and restaurants which seem to do okay because lots of people of course as we know love to have a drink love to have a cup of coffee love to have something to eat in this country so that part of the shopping center seems to work okay and as I said this new crisis that we're going to have here is going to make even more businesses disappear in the future. But uh, let's go and check out this ghost shopping center and see how things haven't even really recovered since the last crisis back in 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Let's go. Now the shopping center that we're going to today is on the west side of the city where I live here. I live on the east side. We're going to travel to the other side of the city and we're going to check out this shopping center which has been around for a few years now. The shopping center was built back in the 2000s I believe. And of course, that's when Spain was living in that euphoric construction boom. Things were popping up all over the place and they decided that it would be a good idea here in this part of the world to build a shopping center. And for the first couple of years, it was successful. I think all of the shops were occupied. There was quite a good variety of shops as well. There was a wine shops, there were restaurants, there were clothing shops, there were fast food shops as well. There's a huge sports complex in front of this shopping center. So at the weekends, quite a few people come in, but during the week, unfortunately, not a lot of people go to this shopping center. And one of the other problems was that within a space of about five years, they decided to build another big shopping center in this part of the world. It's the one I'm going past now. So they decided to put this big shopping center up as well and basically it killed the other one put that fact together with the economic crisis that hit a couple of years later and you have a ghost shopping center now as most of you probably know by now Spain is the country in Europe that has been hardest hit from an economy point of view during this pandemic Spain of course being very reliant on tourism and hostelry those two sectors absolutely smashed during the pandemic, lots of businesses couldn't open. And of course, as we know, tourists are not coming to the country anymore. 2019 saw record numbers and then everything smashed in 2020. And the main question is how long is it gonna take Spain to recover? As I have mentioned in various videos, it took a long time to recover from the last economic crisis that this country experienced. And as we're gonna see in a minute, a lot of businesses never recovered from that. So the question that I'm asking and a lot of people are asking, how long is it gonna take the country to recover from this financial crisis? And to be honest, I'm not optimistic. All right, coming up to the shopping center here, gonna go into this little dodgy car park that we have down below. And we'll pick the video up again upstairs. Now, of course, the first thing I have to do is put my mask on. So I'll just whack that on quickly and uh, into the shopping center I go. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna go up now to the second level of the shopping center. I'll show you the ground level a little bit later, but we'll check out the top level here or the second level and uh, we'll see how empty it is. So the first thing we're met with here is this huge space here. You can see here that they're trying to rent it. It's available. This has been like this for a while now. All right, on the second level here now, you can get an idea of why I call it a ghost shopping center. Check it out. Empty shop after empty shop after empty shop. Oh, there's a bit of life over there. The 50 factory. One, two, three, four, five. 
empty shops. Here's a business that is open. This is quite a successful business. It belongs to the Court de Fiel group. It's sort of like an outlet shop. You'll see quite a few people going in and out of this business here, but the rest, take a look for yourself. Now this is one of the most successful businesses here. It's a gym. You can see that it takes up this whole corner here. So you can see Spanish people take their fitness seriously. But check it out, it's the, one of the only businesses in this shopping centre that actually works. And here of course we have the restaurant area, which is also quite successful. Because that's another thing that people love to do, eat and drink. Plenty of outdoor seating here as you can see. A little bit too early for people to start having lunch, but I don't know whether people will be out and about here today because it's a little bit chilly. You can see lots and lots of places for people to have a drink. Now I'm just going to interrupt the video there to talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. Now what is a VPN you ask? Well, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it's something that I recently started using and now I'm asking myself why I didn't start using it sooner. Now there's various reasons why you should get a VPN. One of them is security. A VPN allows you to surf the internet anonymously. Nobody knows where you are located and you can protect your IP address. And another reason to have a VPN, and this is perhaps the most important reason for me, is that I can access content around the world from Spain that I wouldn't be able to access with my normal Spain IP address. So for example, I can access Netflix in Australia and I can access Australian television from here in Spain, which is something that I haven't been able to do until I got NordVPN. Let me show you what I'm talking about here on the iPad. Okay, so I'm here on the iPad now. This is my main entertainment device. Try to access channel 10 Australia with a Spain IP address. You'll get this message. Sorry, 10 Play is not available in your region. So what you do is you open the NordVPN app you connect to an Australian server. We'll close that down, we'll go back there and we'll go to channel 10, refresh the browser and bang, we can now watch Junior Master Chef Australia from Spain. So that's how I can access Australian television stations from here in Spain. As I said, you can also use it for Netflix. And if you want to access content in the UK, for example, BBC iPlayer, you can also do that as well. Now NordVPN has a fantastic offer on at the moment for my viewers. If you go to the description box, you'll see a link that you can click and you'll be able to get a two year NordVPN plan for 68% off. And they'll also give you an extra four months. So click that link below, check out NordVPN for yourself, add the promo code SpainSpeaks, and you'll get that two year offer with a 68% discount. But I seriously recommend NordVPN. And as I said, for me, it's been a game changer. Back to the video. Okay, we'll go down to the ground floor of the shopping center. A little bit more activity down here, but still not a lot of people doing their shopping. Pharmacy over here, they're quite successful businesses, but we can also see down here as well that there's lots of empty shops. There's that fitness club down here again, but you can see right next door, another empty premises. More empty businesses here. Just outside here as well, this is the local town hall. There's also nothing happening here at the moment as well. But you would think with the town hall next door that the shopping centre would get a little bit of action, but it's not the case. Another empty business here. If we look around, Ghost Town. There's a fast food restaurant over here which normally does quite well, Rodilla, sandwiches. And of course if we come down into this part of the shopping centre here we can see more empty businesses, unfortunately, and another completely dead corner here. So back in the car now, mask off, and uh, you've seen the shopping center, you've got an idea of what economic crisis means in this country. I feel sorry for people that have invested their money over the years in small businesses, like the ones that we saw empty in that shopping center there. It is a real shame, but hey, unfortunately, the economy is not one of Spain's strong points. So there you go, that's Rivas's ghost shopping center. I could go to another shopping center now also if you want and show you more or less the same type of thing. There's a shopping center here that has a big car for supermarket in it, but a lot of the other businesses have closed down. Obviously people think that they can open businesses around one of these big supermarkets and people will come. It does happen at weekends. Weekends are a different story. I'm sure that if I went to that shopping center tomorrow, there would be more people there, but during the week completely dead. And as you saw, all of those empty shops that have been sitting that way for the last five, six, seven years, sometimes even eight years, they have been sitting vacant there. The gym keeps getting bigger. It started off only in one shop. Now there's about five or six different premises that have come together and the gym keeps on expanding. 
So you can see that that's a popular activity and of course restaurants and bars in that particular shopping centre continue to grow. But for the rest of the businesses you can see just how difficult it is to open a business and to keep it open and to have a successful business even in a shopping centre here in this part of Spain. And for all of those people that invested money starting up a new business, starting up a shop, they thought they had a good idea. And of course, you see your dreams go bad. Probably easier and less stressful to throw money down the toilet and flush it away. Okay, so I'll start to wrap the video up. As you can see, retail in this country is still a little bit difficult. Lots of shops in that shopping center, as we saw, completely closed and they have been since the last financial crisis. There are other businesses around the place that seem to do quite well. Bedding shops and tattoo parlors are the in-fashion businesses nowadays, but in that particular shopping center, nobody wants to take the risk. You could see just how devastating the last crisis was here in Spain, and this one, unfortunately, I don't think is gonna be any different. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.